Hey, what's up guys, Frank here with another video and today I wanted to make a video to show you how you can vectorize some image using Inkscape trace bitmap. And so if you have right now some images coming from AI or not that you want to transform into vectors, then this video could be for you. So let's go right in. So in this video, I'm going to use two images as examples. And so we have, first of all, this simple vector uh, infinity symbol for Valentine's Day. And we also have this more complex image about uh, some ski goggles with mountains inside. Okay, so first of all, let's start with a simple one. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is simply right click on it and trace bitmap. And when you trace bitmap, you get this little menu here. And from my experience, the most important menu is inside multicolor. And then the detection mode, you can select colors. And here, what it does is that the scans here, you can select the amount of color that you want for your bitmap and for your vector, okay? So in this case, it's pretty simple. I mean, as of right now, I think there are three colors. There's the black the white and the sort of, some sort of gray here. And as you can see, when I select two colors, you don't see the gray thing at the bottom. But if I increase the color, you can see that it kind of added a new color. And then if I literally add more colors, then you can see that it makes my image more complex. So that's pretty cool. And another thing that you can do is remove the background as well. And so if you don't want the white in your vector, then you can remove the background. So in this case, I'm gonna select two colors and I'm going to remove the background and I'm going to apply. And so what it did is that it created a vector without the background that can literally change the color and so now i just had it to some sort of red now i'm gonna make it orange yellow and then i'm gonna make it black okay so that's pretty cool and if you put the background to black you can see that it removed the background okay so this is really really great so now i have this vector that i can play with but this is a simple vector because now I want to show you what happens when you get a more complex image. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is select this image, trace bitmap, and then I right now I have two colors selected, but I'm going to try and select more colors. And you can see that by having more colors, it makes the image uh, more beautiful or whatever. Okay, so this is really, really, really great. You get to control uh, the colors that you want in your image and in your vector. So in this case, I think I'm going to select six colors. And for now, I'm going to try and remove the background. Okay, so now I'm going to apply. And now I have this vector here that I can play with, which looks kind of nice. But when you zoom in, can see that the colors are all messed up okay it created a bunch of vectors here but it's kind of all messed up okay I mean when you zoom out it kind of look okay but if you zoom in it doesn't look so okay <laughs> so now I'm just going to see uh, the background here the background color and it kind of removed the background as you can see but it removed all the white from the image Okay, it removed the sun, kind of removed the sky as well. So it removed the background as well. But since this, this, this image is more complicated, then it's not doing a very great job. Okay, so now what I'm going to try is simply keep the background. Okay, I'm going to keep the background and I still have this image that I can use as a vector. It still has the background, but if you zoom in, you can see that I'm still having these issues that the vector is all messed up, okay? So it's not very great when there's a lot of details and a lot of colors, so it's not very good. So now I'm gonna try and put more colors in 
the vector. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try 25. Okay, now I have 25 colors for my image, and as you can see, like it's now very better as well. It's all messed up. Okay, it's it's not very <laughs> it's not very good. Okay, so. I think I think this tool is very great if your image is quite simple like this one and you see this one if I zoom in it did a very great job at vectorizing this simple image but when you have more complex images then it's not so great okay I think this is still a very great tool because this tool here is in Inkscape and this is basically free to use okay and and also a great thing about this is that it is literally inside the software. It is free to use and it is literally inside the software. And so the moment I have this uh, vectorized, I can start playing with it straight up from the, from the editing software. So I really love this. And also another great thing about this trace map is that you get to select the colors that you want from your from your image and you can remove the background in a single step okay and so i think this is really great especially if your image is quite simple like this one and so in the end i think this is very great if your image is quite simple and you want it to do quickly and you also want to remove the background as well so that's kind of my thoughts about this and so i hope that this video was helpful to you and let me know if you have any questions okay peace